Good morning everyone and welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Kate and today is Monday, so happy Monday. We are pre-recording Storytime, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you what books we have for the day. We have a short list for the day. We have this story is for you and it's by Greg Pozzoli, Where the Wild Things Are, which is one of my favorites by Maurice Sendak. We have Pig the Pug by Aaron Balbody, and everyone's favorite, Pete the Cat, and we're going to read about his perfect pizza party, and this one is by Kimberly and James Dean. Alrighty, that is all of our books for the day, so why don't we do a little bit of sing-along to get started? Can we do our hello song together? Yeah? Ready? We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Yay! Great job, guys. You did amazing. Ready? Let's jump right on into our first book, okay? Ready? We're going to read This Story is for You by Greg Pozzoli. <clears throat> this story is for you and only you. You are the only one in the world with your eyes with your nose, your fingers, and your smile. And if we ever meet one day, I'll see you and I'll say, it's nice to know you. We, play, we can play games and make shadows on the wall and sing songs that we make up on the spot. And we'll write letters to the moon and stay up as late as we can. And I'll save you the last candy that I know you'll really like. And maybe one day, a long, long time from now, you'll have to leave and go someplace new. And you will make the trip and go a long, long way and come to a place where you've never been. You'll meet someone new, people, and new animals too, but you'll be the only one that's just like you. You'll be the only one with your ears, your nose, and your laugh, and your smile. And if I found a map and a ship to sail to you, I would sail a long, long way just looking for you. And when I'm alone with all the stars and the moonlight and the same moonlight that we've both always known, I won't feel alone. I'll be with you. And if I pass a ship and I turn towards the light, I'll wave in the darkness to say that I know you. And if I found you after such a long, long time, I would give you a big, long hug and hold you and smell you and say, I have traveled far and waited long and met many people too, but in all the world, you are the only one that is just like you. You're the only one with your eyes, with your nose, with your fingers, and your smile. You are my friend, and it's nice to know you. The end. Oh, that is a good one. Ready? Let's jump right on into our next book, shall we? It's Where the Wild Things Are. The night that Max wore his wolf suit, he created mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. And so he was sent to bed without eating anything. And that very night, a forest grew in Max's room, and it grew, and it grew until his ceiling hung with vines, and the walls became a world all around. 
an ocean thumbed by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of weeks, almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and they gnashed their terrible teeth, and they rolled their terrible eyes, and they showed their terrible claws. Until Max said, be still, and he tamed them with a magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without even blinking once. And they were frightened, and they called him the most wild thing of them all. And they made him king of the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And so they howled a woo at the moon. And they swung side to side from the branches of the trees. Oh, and they paraded through the forest with their big thumping feet. Thump -a -dump -a -dump. And now stop, said Max, and he sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. And all around from far away across the world, Max smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being the king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Well, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. And the wild things roared their terrible roars, and they gnashed their terrible teeth, and they roared their terrible eyes. But... Max stepped into his private boat and he waved goodbye because he said no. And he sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through the day and into the night into his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. That one is just a classic. Ready? We're going to read a really silly one next. This one is called Pig the Pug, about a very selfish pug. Ready? Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in almost every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, good Trevor would say. But Pig would just grumble and say, they're mine, go away. But it would be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both played together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. And he started to scream. No, they're mine, didn't you hear? Only mine. Now keep your paws off of them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share. But I won't do that. Never, I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig. Now you won't get my loot. Now it's mine, mine, mine. Now why don't you scoot? But just in that moment, poor Trevor did see that pile was wobbling. Oh, dearie me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, pugs can't fly. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friends. They both play together while Pig is on the mend. The end. Ready? Let's go ahead and read Pete the Cat and His Perfect Pizza Party.
Pete the cat loves pizza. Pete loves parties too. And Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party. Look at these invites, they're fabulous. It says, you are invited to Pete's pizza party for fun, music, and bring your swimsuit and we'll play games. Pete's friends had all arrived and it was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. And Pete thought that the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. And so the group sang, it's a party, it's a party, it's a pepperoni pizza party, while they played pin the tail on the unicorn. But not everyone agreed that pepperoni pizza was the perfect pizza for a pizza party. Callie said, pepperoni would be just fine, but I would really love pretzels on mine. And Pete and the gang were puzzled. Hmm, pretzels, they said? Well, that's something new, but maybe pretzels would be groovy too. So they all said it together. It's a party, it's a party, it's a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. But then Squirrel talked and he said, pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I would really love pistachios on mine. And Pete and the gang were puzzled again. Pistachios, they said. Well, that's something new, but maybe pistachios could be groovy too. And so they sang, it's a party, it's a party, it's a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza party. But then Grumpy Toad said, pepperoni pretzels and pistachios would be just fine, but I would like pickles on mine. And Pete and the gang were puzzled again. Pickles, they said. Well, that's something new. Maybe pickles could be groovy too. So they sang again, it's a party, it's a party, it's a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle pizza party. But then Gus said, pepperoni pretzels, pistachios, and pickles would be just fine. But I would really like popcorn on mine. And Pete and the gang were puzzled. Popcorn, they said. Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. So they sang, it's a party, it's a party, it's a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle popcorn pizza party. And then Alligator said, pepperoni pretzels pistachios Pickles and popcorn would be just fine, but I would really like papaya on mine. And now Pete and the gang were really stumped. Papaya? Well, that's something new. Maybe papaya could be groovy too. And so they sang again, it's a party, it's a party, it's a pepperoni, pic pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza party. And the gang piled it up all high, the pepperoni, the pretzels, the pistachio, the pickles, the popcorn, and the papaya on top. And the pizza was so high that they had to stop. And ding, the pizza was done. And trying something new can be fun. And they all built up that courage to take that first bite in the pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, pizza, popcorn, papaya pizza was out of sight it was dynamite just right and in the end the perfect pizza was a pizza shared with friends the end look at all those crazy pizzas they have egg pizza oh, wow all righty that was all of our books for today. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me today. And it will be another pre-recorded story time on Wednesday, but I will be back on live on Friday. So um, I will just go ahead and say hello to a couple of my friends because I won't see you on our live until Friday. So hi, Annalise and Owen. Hi, Catherine and Caden and Henry and Maverick. Hello, Grace and Angelo. Oh, I miss seeing all of you so much, and I'm sorry if I missed anyone. Just put your name in the comments, and I will do my best to say hello next time. I will see you guys later. Oh, we have to do our goodbye song. Ready? Let's do our goodbye song together. We clap goodbye like this. We clap goodbye like this. 
We clap our hands for all our friends. We clap goodbye like this. We stomp goodbye like this. We stomp goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We stomp goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you again all so, so much for joining me, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.